Hello guys, it's DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Il Kama Dino versus Wheels and Axel, and this is going to be a post LEDE video, and let's go ahead and hop right in, so we will go ahead and we will see Wheels win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and then they will decide to go second, okay, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, it's probably Tenpai Dragon, we got Phantasma, Judgment Dragon, Thrust, Felix, and then Dragon of the Light Sworn, okay, so I'm gonna have to read over that in a second, they have Droll, Tenpai Dragon, Fedora, uh, Sangen, or Sa Sanjen Kaiman, uh, where there's a will, there's a way out, and Pot of Prosperity. Okay, so I know this is the card. I'm going to read this one first. I think it looks at the top cards or something like that. During the main phase, to turn this card, or the, wait. During the main phase, the turn player can excavate cards from the top of the deck up to the number of cards the opponent controls, and if they do, add one excavated card to their hand, then they place one card... Uh, they place the rest in one card from their hand to the bottom of the deck in any order. Okay, this effect can only be used once per turn. Uh, and then once per turn during the end phase, if the turn player excavated nine or more cards with this card's effect, they can activate this effect, shuffle all cards on their opponent's field and graveyard into the deck. Uh, okay. I mean, it's like decent. Like, the, the last effect won't really ever come up, right? So, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not that bad, not that bad. Then... This card says, if you control a Light Swarm monster, or right, if you have a Light Swarm monster in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is a special summon, you can summon one Light Swarm card from the deck to the graveyard, except for a copy of Dragon of Light Swarm. Then, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Dragon monster with 3,000 attack, 26 defense from the deck to the hand. Okay, so we just bricked. Fair enough. So, pass. They draw Terraforming, and then they're going to go activate Terraforming, grab out the Brimming uh, Sengen. And then, yeah, this player just missed defeat because uh, they don't have a way to stop him. Also, I'm pretty sure that was Havnus that they just drew there. Uh, yeah, drew Tier Limit Havnus. Okay. Uh, so going on to the next game now, we will go ahead and we will see Il Comodino go first. We have D-Barrier, Felix, or Phalanx. I don't even remember how to say this card's name. Dragon of the Light. It's been so long since this card's actually been meta. Dragon of the Light Sworn. Wiss and Judgment Dragon. Okay, I gotta read over this. You can place one other Light Sworn monster or one other Light Sworn card from your hand on top of the deck. Special summon this card from your hand, then mill two. That's cool. That's cool. So you can like put back Wolf or put back this and then just, yeah, mill. That's good. Uh, if this card is sent from the deck to your graveyard, you can target one Light Sworn monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Oh, that card's broken and it's a tuner. Uh, level four, they have Imperm, uh, Tenpai Dragon, Bidora. Brimming, Sengen, Monar, and then Ash, and Droll. Okay, so activate the Whis effect, and then they're going to Ash that. Uh, uh, places for cost. Okay, so sure, that just stays in hand. Set T barrier pass. Those decks crazy. They draw a Heat Wave. Yeah, so they were prepared a little bit if the opponent were to make them go first. Activate, and then they're going to go normal summon. This is unaffected. That's going to go ahead and search out the Quick Play spell. And then Field Spell Effect. Go ahead and search out the Jandora. Then Discard Heat Wave. And then Effect a Special Summon since we control a Fire Dragon Monster. Battle Phase. Attack. And then we will get this effect to summon out from deck. Okay, sure. I'm not sure why on the attack we activate that. Oh, I guess it's because then if they activate this to Synchro in response, then they don't get this to summon. Okay. So they're going to go ahead, poke, poke, uh, yeah, effect to go special, uh, that's going to go ahead, bring out the Fedora, and then poke, that's fine, uh, main phase two, make a seal, and then they're going to go set quick play spell, set imperm pass, and then obviously they drew what they put back, so now they're going to try again, activate, put back, mill two, okay, new chain link, search, uh, for the Punishment Dragon. I actually gotta read over this too. This card was like never actually played. This card was an Ultra though. I remember that. Cannot be normal summoner set. Must be so special summon from your hand by possessing four or more banished Life Swarm monsters with different names. Okay. Once per turn quick effect. You could pay a thousand. Shuffle all cards from the decks and graveyard. Wait. Shuffle into the decks. All cards in the graveyards and all face up banished cards except for Life Swarm monsters. Once per turn, if your Light Sworn Monster's effect is activated, mill four. Yo, that card is crazy. So, like, its other effect, too, is not just during end phase. Okay, okay. That card's sick. That card's sick. 
Uh, so now they're going to drop Droll since they just got done searching. And then Effect, try to pop Seal, and then Mill 3. Does this have to pop the Mill? Destroy that, then Mill 3. Okay, so we don't Mill 3 there. So bounce back. Uh, they don't Mill. And they did not know that's how it works. Yeah, Target 1, Monster Punter Controls. Destroy that target, then send 3. So we did not do the first part. So we're not supposed to be able to bring this body out here. Uh, but now they're going to go ahead and bring out Fedora. Fedora effect. Special summon back out. Okay. And then that effect cannot search because we are under Droll. But that can set though. That's true. It's true. It's true. That can go ahead and set the quick place fall from Duck. And then now on resolution we have nothing. So now they're going to activate Dragon of the Light Sworn. Uh, to special summon itself out. Okay. And then activate the effect to go dump. They're going to imperm that. Sure. So now we go ahead and make Minerva Synchro. Okay, I, I didn't even know this was a card. Minerva, Light Sworn, Athena. So obviously level 8, one tuner, one more non tuner. Uh, then Light Sworn monsters you control cannot be banished by card effects. Sure, you can only use each effect, each of the following effects of Minerva once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can send Light Sworn monsters with different types from your deck to the graveyard up to the number of Light Sworn monsters. Use as a material for this card's summon. Oh, okay. So we get to dump two Light Sworns. Then you can banish up to four Light Sworn monsters from your graveyard. Send that many cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. Banish up to four. Oh. Oh, so that dumps two and then mills four. This card's just crazy. This, is, this card is actually just stupid. Dump, dump. Then we're going to go effect, effect, special back out, special out. And then overlay, now we make Minerva the XYZ, effect mill 3, draw 1, summon out sunlight, or I was going to say sunlight wolf, summon out light sworn wolf, and we can get Sornier effect to dump? Let me read Minerva. Oh, wait, wait. The, yeah, that's true, we can't draw, we are, we are under draw. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't even activate this under draw. Yeah, you can mill... Uh, just can't draw. Nope. Yeah. Uh, it's a mandatory draw. Okay. Can I rethink on Minerva Summon? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I forgot we were under draw, to be honest. I was, this card's so stupid. This Minerva? This card's actually broken. This deck does have some cool cards in it. Okay, so they're just fixing everything now. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to assume that's the correct game state. Tribute, pop, mill. It's only during their main phase one, right? Yeah. Uh, no reasoning there. A tier limit halvedness. So, okay, we, we don't activate the effect. It's just a hand trap. Effect. Banish. Does that have to banish? It has to banish light swords. Okay. So, we're just going to banish three. And then mill three. Hits nothing. Uh, now, we're going to go up into the Centurion. Sure. Can't use that. Under draw. Uh, the 20 duel is hard. I don't even know what that means. Summon out JD. And then JD effect, yeah, one, two, three, four, okay. Uh, so then pay a thousand to go ahead and pop the whole field. Yeah. Uh, I said you don't add droll three times now. Wow. <laughs> uh, normal summon out, and then they're gonna make a IP battle. Wait. Okay, cause they. Oh, okay, we only have two banished. Wow. Imagine snow in this deck. That'd be so good. But, okay, now we're just going to go ahead and poke, poke. IP should be enough to clean up, right? Oh, true. This also does die. Wow. So many mistakes right now. And I'm also making them. Okay, so we have no interruption. Unless, what does this card do? Target, face up cards, or opponent controls up to the uh, number of light storm monsters you control, negate their effects. If this card is sent to the... Wow. Okay, so it actually will set itself. But it won't do anything since we don't control any light swarms. But that actually does do something. Okay. So, effect, go set, and then pass to draw droplet. Oh, uh, yeah, we attack with JD, of course. Uh, draw Druus Worm. Okay, now we're going to go activate Druus Worm. So, we have to have a Light Swarm with this card. Yeah, so that won't work. Uh, so, we go Druus Worm and then just go for game. All right, on to the next game now. We will go ahead and see Light Swarm forced to go first. We have Tier Limit, Sharon, Felice. Uh, that's how you say it, Felice. Uh, D-Barrier, Raiden, Chaos Space, they have Brimming, Pot of Prosperity, uh, Sangan, Droplet, and Fedora. 
So they're going to go normal out, Raiden, mill two. Uh, that won't do anything there. They can't special summon anything back. So now they're going to go Sharon effect, uh, summon, discard, mill. Maybe we should have started with Sharon effect then. In case if we milled this, then we would have had Felice and Graveyard off the discard. So then we have a free body we can summon back out. Jeez, okay. So now we get to summon out two bodies off the tier limit Sharon effect. So special, special. And then now they're going to make the Minerva Synchro. Yes, yeah, so that's going to go ahead, dump two. Then activate the effects. Wait, just to make sure, just to make sure. Okay, yeah, Warrior, Beast Warrior. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead, search out a Punishment Dragon, and then summon back out Dragon of the Light Sworn effect to go dump. And now that's going to go dump Wolf, and then Wolf effect, special summon out. Okay, overlay to make Minerva XYZ. Not under Droll this time. We mill three. Uh, that was four. Yeah, now we're gonna activate Havnus effect, put itself back, plus a Bestial, summon out Mud Dragon. Uh, Sornier's still in grave. It only mills three, not four. Yeah. Uh, now they're gonna go ahead and make an Omega. Omega effect. Wow, this really does feel like Light Swarm. We're going for Omega now. Effect to go ahead and rip. And then that's gonna rip the Fedora from their hand. Uh, Light Swarm effect to go ahead, banish four, mill four. So Punishment Dragon's alive. Yeah, and this doesn't. Yeah, I don't even have to read that again. I know that doesn't put back from the hand. So go ahead, mill four, mill Sornier, Weast, Druid Swarm. So this can special summon back out from the graveyard. This can go dump. But we didn't use Sornier last time. I don't get why we wouldn't use this effect, right? It literally just says deck thin one card. Like, don't you want to mill your good Light Swarm cards or any Light Swarm cards, really? So you can just, like, less cards in deck is good. Activate Chaos Space, discard Punishment Dragon, go search out JD. That is so stupid. I didn't even think about that. This can just add JD. Okay, yeah, that does work. Sure. <laughs> and then we can Chaos Space draw if we want to by putting back, like, the Felice. And then they're going to link off, make IP Mascarena, Chaos Space. The D barrier is going to be huge here, though. That's, like... This is literally like old Light Swarm. This is like 2016. Literally, we omega our opponent. We got D-Barrier. Uh, Stop the Metal Fuzz combo. But instead, now it's just this. What? We banished JD Punishment Dragon to summon out a Fusion Enlightenment Dragon. JD plus one Punishment Dragon. Special summon this by banishing uh, one each from your monster zone in Grave. Once per turn, quick effect. You can, ban you can pay 2,000 life points. Banish all other cards on the field and in the graveyards. Oh, so that's why the Synchro says that, that they can't be banished. Okay. Um, then it says, once per turn during your end phase, mill four. Then if this card in the owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one each of your banished JDs and punishment dragons to your hand. Then you can special summon both, ignoring their conditions. Like, there's so many conditions. Okay, so set, set. Then end phase, we go mill four. Then pass. So they draw the... Uh, Zhang Dora. So now they're going to go activate Field Spell. Field Spell effect. Go ahead, search out by Dora. Now they can still link. And obviously the deck's going to have link plays in it. So, yeah, now they're going to go ahead. Uh, doesn't it? Wait. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This does discard, right? Doesn't put back. Yeah, yeah, Okay, okay, okay. So normal summon out by Dora effect. Go ahead, search out Quick Play. Activate the Zhang Dora effect. Uh, bring out, they said, darn, I don't play Black Rose. You don't play Black Rose? Oh, also, this player messed up, right? Because <laughs> they actually had to activate D-Barrier right now. Because otherwise, if they make Black Rose, we just lose. Because it's unaffected. So, yeah. Said, oh. Yeah, so now they summon out Meteor Burst. Uh, that doesn't, yeah, we don't, we don't have a card in the Pendulum Zone. Which effect? Second effect? You mean second effect? Of course, special summon you can do a... What do you mean second effect? It's not an activated effect, it's continuous, I'm dumb. Yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? Activate, go ahead, search, special summon out, and then they attack. It's so dumb how this deck works too. Like, this makes it sad where they're unaffected in main phase, and certain stuff like this makes it sad where they can't do stuff in battle phase. Uh, but they attack, use this. They do have the barrier, which will be activated at some point. They're going to special effect, bring back out from the graveyard. Attack, attack, 
Uh, just so that way they can... Wait, I don't take battle damage? Um... Why do they not take battle damage? Uh, oh, you take no battle damage. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, activate D-Barrier, call Synchro. They're going to chain to now go ahead and Synchro. So, they're going to bring out the 10. And then, beat over. Mm-hmm. Now, activate the Pot of Prosperity for 6. Okay, so trying to hit non-engine to stop the opponent here. So, go ahead, look at the top 6. And then, grabs Ash Blossom. Put the rest back to the bottom of the deck. Then they said, on resolution now. So how do you bring this card back out? Uh, you special summon this card from your graveyard. If three or more declare an attack this turn. Then destroy one card in the field. Okay, so now they're going to activate this effect. These are only protected during main phase one. So this will go ahead and banish all of them. Yeah, and but we banish our entire graveyard too. End in the graveyards. Are you kidding me? End in the graveyards, bozos. You gotta banish everything. This is helping the Lightsworn players so much, because I bet you their graveyard matters a little bit, but not nearly as much as this graveyard does. Holy. Uh, standby phase. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Omega, to be honest. Okay, so bounce back. Uh, bring back out, then poke, poke, main phase 2, Omega effect, trying to hit the engine card. Uh, they chain droplet in response. Okay, it's because they have to keep their engine card. Normal summon out Lumina. Uh, so they're trying to hit trap card here then. Yep, they hit trap card. Yeah, definitely trying to hit trap card there. Technically, you do one at a time, but summon out, set, pass. They draw shifter. So now they just lose. Probably doesn't matter, but minus 17 from IP being ran over. Okay, so normal summon effect. Uh, well, standby phase, we're going to put back chaos space. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then main phase, they're going to go normal summon. They said effect question mark on summon. Yeah. So go ahead, bring back out. We just let it go. We don't, we don't try to stop that. You target face of cards your opponent controls. Wait, I feel like... That's really dumb, right? Aren't we supposed to activate Omega effect? And then activate trap. Um, okay, now we're gonna Omega effect. Pray that we hit the quick play. We do hit the quick play. Sometimes people just want it more. Question mark, ha ha ha. Best deck can't lose, GG's. I mean, to be fair, you don't play Black Rose in this deck. Otherwise, you could have made it. And you could have literally popped the whole field. I know they would have got JD in the punishment. But, like, that should have been somewhat okay. That should have been somewhat okay. And then they could have probably probably played a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, they made a mistake. I mean, it is what it is. They also didn't make them banish the graveyard, which... I mean, it could have come up, actually, if they didn't know that, because what if their first play in main phase 2 was just to make SP and then SP effect to go banish? Uh, then this would be in graveyard, and then this would have the effect to special summon back out on the next turn if the opponent summons three bodies and attack. Then we can use this. So then they can only attack with two. I don't know. I don't know either of these decks very well. The Lightsworn deck seems very copium, though. I'll say that. Uh, I mean, you know, Light Lightsworn's always been, like, you know, kind of a little, little bit luck-based, a little bit luck-based. Um, but this, this, this just doesn't seem like it's it. There's a lot of broken cards in it. Like, the Synchro is really broken. Uh, this card's broken. The Whis card. So, th those two cards are really good. Uh, the Dragon and the Lightsworn, that card's, sol that card's solid for, like, the new cards. The Ten Pies seem a little bit better overall, though they can play so much non-engine in their deck, it's actually absurd. Um, but okay, that's going to be it for the match. We see that it was about 40 minutes long for the match. And then they said, GG's, GG's. Yep, and with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.